Welcome folks, I'm Nerdy Old Gamer, and today we are going to take a look at Northern Lights. We're going to give the game a little playthrough. It's an early access on Steam, and the developers over at Mad Goat Studio were kind enough to provide me with a key so that I can take a look at it and show you guys where they are. So if you don't know Northern Lights, uh, Northern Lights is a winter survival game. We are in Northern Siberia in the middle of September, and uh, yeah, all alone in the wilderness uh, trying to survive. So it seems like a pretty interesting game. It, uh, I like the graphics in the game. It looks very pretty. And uh, it seems like it has a lot going on. The developers are very active. And uh, yeah, let's uh, jump in. There are several uh, difficulty settings. So there are four different difficulties. The default is resourceful. There is an easier one called Wanderer. So in Wanderer, the uh, it's for newer experienced players interested in thoughtful exploration. Wildlife will not attack unless provoked. Mother Nature's elements are calm. In resourceful, uh, wildlife is territorial and Mother Nature's elements are challenging. But there are a lot of resources. Then we have Survivor, which makes it a little bit more difficult. The wildlife is a little bit more aggressive. The uh, nature is uh, a little bit more harsh. And then there is Prey, where basically you are, uh, you're going to die. Yeah, uh, you can play both single player and co-op. Uh, we're going to play sim single player. We're going to start on Resourceful. Let's go. Alrighty. So, here we go. Siberia, well, September 13th, Northern Siberia. Sounds like a cold place, doesn't it? All right, let's do this. Here we are. Oh, there's a bear right there. That doesn't feel good. All right, so first things first, uh, we will start picking up some stuff. Uh, there's a stick. So everything you pick up goes straight into your inventory. To open the inventory, press tab and to interact uh, right mouse so we can either take it or we can uh, right mouse button and we can destroy it and uh, we don't want to destroy it we just want to take it so let's take that stick we need some sticks we need quite a few sticks actually uh, and so i have taken a quick look at the game just to get a feel for it uh, not played too long uh, so let's see, you can find a variety of herbs in the Arctic flora, from plants and mushrooms to, to tasty berries. Be careful, some of the herbs may help you cure diseases, but others can be straight out poisonous. Okay, well, we don't know what these mushrooms are, but we'll take a look. We'll probably get away from the bear. Okay, so trees can be chopped down. We need a hatchet. Uh, so we can get wood logs, yeah, 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 okay, whoops. So if we press J here, we have a journal, and we need to find the stone hatchet blueprint. So we have the stone hatchet blueprint here, we need two stones, a stick, and some rope. So we need one more stone, then we can craft the stone hatchet. Uh, there's a nest with an egg, nice. Uh, so another stone, I wouldn't mind more rope too, nice, is there more stuff here, doesn't look like it, oh, some more mushrooms, let's pick them up, another stick, who knew that sticks were so useful, uh, Oh, was that a... no. No stones. We need another stone. There's some more... Oh, a chaga mushroom. And let's take a look at our inventory. So we have our backpack here. I don't know why the backpack is not in the middle. It feels like it should be in the middle, but other than that, uh, I kind of like the inventory. So we have our tools and weapons. We have food and drink. So... Mushroom, eggs, and we have a chaga mushroom. Then we have 
uh, medicine. Sorry about that. Oh, that uh, little disturbance. Uh, we have a recycled can. We have a stone, a lot of rope, and a couple of nests. And then we have our sticks here on this one. We have these things over here. We have the quests. We have the flora, unknown mushrooms. We have afflictions, which we'll get to. We have our skills. Uh, right now there are six. We have notes. I've never found out that that is. I don't think I've played long enough. We can make a small fire. We have a blueprint for that. We can make a snare trap. Uh, so we can make some shelters here. A few different things. And then we have a rock holder, a rope holder, stick holder, pelt curing rack. All kinds of cool stuff. Storage, storage box. So, yeah. Uh, but we need another rock. Pine cone? What the hell do I need a pine cone for? Well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, Alright, so we have our rocks. So we can craft ourselves a stone hatchet. And we got plus one in crafting and a bit of sanity from that. So now we need to press E on a tree to chop that down and down come some wood logs and we have one in our hand oh there's something up there cool cool i haven't seen that before uh, okay uh let's uh, drop that for now uh, so we have a watch here where we can see the state of things we can see the time there we can see the temperature and the temperature with the wind chill i guess uh, we can see how hungry we are at the top one how thirsty we are and how cold we are so that is pretty cool we have a compass uh, so yeah and we have a map, so we have the compass here. We can see which way we are facing, very cool. And we have a map right here. And we are, I guess, down here in this corner. We're right there. Do we see anything of interest here? It doesn't seem like it. All right. There we have our hatchet. And very, very cool. All right. Uh, let's uh, harvest this wood log that gave us four firewood uh, let's harvest another one get another four firewood and those are in here let's just harvest the last one as well and what we can do again I think we can drop them so we have the firewood here we can harvest these and they turn into sticks. Well, did I just click destroy instead of harvest? I think I did. Oh well. Well, we're not cold yet, so let's head up towards uh, that point of interest there. Okay, surveying. There is a location nearby. The best way of finding location is by using your binoculars to survey the your surrounding area. Upon serving a location, its name and icon will appear on your map. To so use the binocular, press V. Once a location is in your sight, your vision will lock up to it and will automatically appear on your map. Ooh, let's try pressing V. Alright. Well, I am locked to it, I think, because I can't move anything. Now I can. So... Alright. As I'm wandering through the colds of Siberia, body temperature has dropped drastically. Stand next to a heat source to get warm. Okay. And we can see the stats with T. Yes, we know. Uh, so we're not that cold yet. Let's just watch, move towards this uh, point of interest. We have the question mark there. I don't know if you can get like an indicator that... What's this? Uh, spruce white. Okay, let's take that. 
Um, let's just grab a bunch of stuff on our way up. Pine cones. I don't know what pine cones are for. Maybe you can cook them or something? Nah, I can't imagine eating a pine cone. Or maybe they could be tinder or something. For lighting the fire. It's a floating, floating uh, grass there. Interesting. Oh, and a moose or something? Deer? What's this? This looks like something that we can harvest. Unknown berries, okay. Uh, we have a salting spot, okay. An arrow. We'll take the arrow. Uh, anything else? Nope. We have another stick. Oh, we're full on sticks. Observation post, okay. So now that we've been here, it says what it is. Cool. Another stick. Anything else around here? Yeah, so down in the bottom left corner, we can see our health and our stamina. Ooh, some vodka. Sounds good to me. Right. Let's go upstairs and take a look. Oh, another arrow. Some boots. Keeping your, yourself warm is a crucial aspect of survival in Arctic conditions. Although you start with clothes on, you can find and equip new clothes, which may provide better stats than your current ones. Remember, you can carry clothes on yourself, but not in your backpack. Equipping a new clothing or item will swap your current one with it. Okay. So let's see. We... It's in very good condition. It's medium. So... Ours are in a little bit better condition, but we have much better uh, insulation and protection and speed in the leather boots here. So we will take these. And now we're wearing those, I guess. Or what? Where are... Where did... Uh, did we swap? Okay, so... Uh, I want to take those leather boots. Seems to be the same. Do I have to take these off first? Drop. Okay. And take. We didn't get better insulation from that, did we? Weird. That looks... Exactly the same as that. All right. Let's open the door. Um, actually, let's go around here and see if there's anything back here. There is uh, some more vodka. Vodka is good, I guess. And uh, let's close the door. We have storage with more vodka. Uh, what's our weight like? It's okay, so we can... Uh, uh, I just want to take it. Really? Okay. And we have a map piece. Okay. Let's take a look. Did we... Hey, I guess we got the same map piece, maybe? A phone that doesn't seem to work. Another arrow... Furniture, furniture, another storage with another arrow. Let's uh, take you. Okay. So that would mean that we can go hunting soon. There's another pair of leather boots. That doesn't look better than what we have. Uh, there's another arrow. Okay, sleeping is the best way to store your energy and the only way to save the game. While sleeping, the rest of your stats will decrease over time. Pay attention to how much sleep you, how much you sleep, and make sure you have the space and have the necessary resources to do so. Okay, 
Starting a fire. To successfully start a fire, craft yourself a fire starter item and find some tinder. For this purpose, dry items work best. Don't forget to constantly add fuel items to the fire so that it keeps burning. All right. So we need to craft ourselves a... Uh, uh, let's see... Hand drill. Or starting the fire. So we'll craft that. Uh, then we need we'd craft a spear but we don't really need to right now I think so cooking spot cooking spots can be used to cook various food items there are several ways of cooking food in northern lights the easiest way is to place the food directly on the fire some natural items can be also be brewed into infusions with the aid of smaller container while others can be made into soup inside a bigger container there are certain food items can be boiled and snow can be melted regardless of the kind of container used. Okay, well, uh, we need to start a fire. All right, it's down here. So we need uh, some tinder. There, we need to use the starter. Okay, and can we then add fuel? We can. Uh, Maybe this thing doesn't need fuel? Okay. Well, uh, let's use the cooking spot. We have the uh, the tin can, which we can put there, and we will well, melt some snow to have something to drink. Uh, I guess. And uh, snow is melted. Then we can put an egg in there. Cool, cool. And we'll cook up an egg. Uh, can we put an egg over there? No. It needs to go into a container, I guess. Uh, let's clean up our inventory a little bit. I want you to... Okay, move over there. Move over there. All right, the egg is cooked, so let's consume that and let's melt some more snow. We can drink that. And then I think we'll uh, probably sleep. And consume, let's melt some more. Let's see, do we need to add fuel? We do, okay. Uh, so how are we looking now if we pull T? It's 4.30. It's pretty nice and hot. Uh, we are not cold. We're not hungry. We're not thirsty. It's beautiful. So let's sleep for a bit. Get our energy up. And let's wake up. So our game has been saved. Yay! All right, uh, let's cook up another egg. And we'll eat, we'll have something to drink, and then we'll head out and uh, see what we can find. It's a little bit rough weather outside, it sounds like. But our beautiful, uh, either soft or hard-boiled egg, I don't know which, is now ready. I'm hoping soft-boiled, that's my preference. I prefer soft-boiled eggs. So uh, five minute eggs as opposed to a ten one, I guess. Alright, uh, let's consume that. And that's that. How do I... Uh, why was that? Okay. Do we need to put this out? Uh, I don't think we can. I think we just leave it going. I'm saying that there are four things. Starting a fire, yeah, we already did. 
I have the berries and the chaga mushroom and the pine cone and whatever. Alright. Mm, nothing else in here, right? No. Okay, I guess we'll head out. It looks cold, man. Alright. Well. So we we're full on stick, right? No, we're not. Okay. Well, we are now. All right. Is there anything else of interest around here? Doesn't seem like it. So basically, our goal is to escape this place. I guess. I think. Uh, so let's. We head north. Maybe go down to the coast and head north along the coast. So we want to go this way, I guess. Uh -huh. and let's see, there's a rock. Nope, no rock. There's some sticks over there. We don't need sticks. There are some mushrooms over there. I don't think we need to run around picking up everything that we find, but... I mean, for right now, I am going to be looking to pick up stuff. Oh, there's a moose or something. Um, let's see. Can we craft... Uh, so, I want a knife. The, the question is, is a stone knife or a stick knife better? I don't know. We'll craft a stone knife. Uh, then we'll craft... A stone spear. Alright, that leveled our crafting up. So now we can craft a bow. Okay, cool. So, if we take a look here, we have stone hatchet, stone spear, a bow. We don't have the knife anymore because we use that to craft the uh, spear. So we'll craft a stone knife. And now we have that as well. Yes, we do. So, keys one, two, three, and four. So let's put, let's grab our spear here. There's a nest over there. Uh, okay. Oh, we see the water, I think. Has to be the water over there, right? Where are we on the map? Can't pick up a stick. Yeah, there's water down there. All right, cool. Let's go up to the top here and take a peek around. See what we see. Uh, do we see anything? Not really. But it is pretty crappy weather. Just looking around, finding whatever I can find. Oh, there's a rabbit or something? Uh... Wait, how, how do I draw? Man. Okay, we are not hitting that thing. Oh, we got it! And we can pick up our arrows. Is there an... Can we get that arrow? I don't think so. Uh, let's take our, our knife. And we can butcher the rabbit. Cool. Sorry, little rabbit.
It had to be tried. Mine sap, okay. Uh, let's see. We're still okay for weight. So I guess we got some food. Yeah, some rabbit meat. And, ooh, rabbit pelt. Cool. Did we get new recipes or something? Arrow, sap dressing, bandage, rope. Crafted Biden or Bidden or something. I don't know what that is actually. Not a clue. Oh. I feel like staying up high is preferable because we can get a vantage point. But in this weather, uh, there isn't really much to see other than snowflakes. But it seems like a cool game. I think we're off to a pretty good start. Uh, let's take a look at our watch. Minus 14.9, minus 20 with wind chill. We are getting a little bit cold now, so we might need to... It's not too bad yet, but we might need to start a fire at some point. All right, it's less cold down here. And it still wants us to start a fire. So I guess the fire in the cabin there didn't count. Is it clearing up? It's clearing up. Oh, look at that. Northern Lights. That is pretty. That is pretty. I like it. But I still want to be up high where I can potentially see something. That is just really, really pretty. Um, let's see. Is there anything to see anywhere? Oh, there's the moon. Oh, look at that. That just looks too good. Where are we on the map? I kind of want to go up there and take a peek. Or up there where the deer is. Let's go up there. Which way are we going right now? Uh, north is there, so we're going kind of... Not north. West. Which is away from the water, I guess. Hey there! Wow. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? That is really, really pretty. Well, let's take a look around. Is there anything other than that cute deer there? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, I guess we'll head down To the lake or the ocean, whatever it is. I don't know if it's the lake, a lake or the ocean. Uh, and we'll just, uh, I guess, follow the water's edge. Uh, there has to be something at the water's edge, right? I feel like the wind is picking up again. Uh, this doesn't look good. I don't think we'll be able to get down to the water here. This looks steep. Let's not take that route. 
maybe? This does not look safe. But I guess we'll uh, we'll find out where we're going in the next one because we are out of time. But let me know what you think of uh, Northern Lights so far. Do you think it's it looks promising? I'll be uh, doing a let's try of Northern Lights uh, a few episodes at least uh, at least two, um, maybe more depending on what you think of it. So uh, yeah. If you want to see more of Northern Lights, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and if you are new to the channel, why not subscribe as well, so you get notified of new content uh, being uploaded. I upload videos daily, uh, usually two videos on Sundays, or Saturdays, sorry, three videos. So uh, yeah, plenty of content. But uh, for now, thank you so very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.